Hello, I'm a gloomy geek, and as I mark my calendar with little snake stickers, counting down to September 9th, my hype grows, and the Netflix YouTube channel is a core contributor to that. How? Well, they have been slowly trickling down short clips of the upcoming Cobra Kai season, and giving us more hype-inducing breadcrumbs to play with until the premiere. One of those clips got me thinking, and it's the one titled, Chosen Teaches Daniel a Lesson. At first, it looks like a normal situation with Chosen being himself in front of the clueless daniel son, but what both masters say in the clip has deeper meanings, and today, we're going to decide. At the start of the clip, Chosen states that while Kim sung Yoon was a master of Tan Soo Do, he developed his own controversial version of it. Going by the name, many people could have confused Kim sung Yoon with the badass female cobra named Kim Da Yoon. But the reality is, Kim sung Yoon is an old Korean master, and the one who taught Tan Soo Do to Captain George Turner while he was fighting in the Korean War. Yep. That same Turner that Kreese turned into snake food. Kim is credited with the creation of the Way of the Fist, and considering that Turner was the one who taught Kreese how to fight, we can see the origins of Cobra Kai traced all the way back to this one guy. Still, regardless of what Kim Sun Yoon did, Tang Soon Do is not a controversial style on its own. The style in its beginnings was a mixture of multiple disciplines from Korea and Chinese origin. These disciplines were divided into nine koans which were like substyles or clans of Tang Soon Do. As time passed, the nine koans decided to merge into one, thus creating what we know today as Taekwondo. Do you mean to tell me that the Taekwondo dojo next door where my nephews go to is the result of nine subclasses of a big karate style from the past that is itself composed of several other disciplines? Mind is blown. Why am I kind of feeling like Stingray right now? I am here to kick some ass, sir. Daniel looks confused after Chosen talks about Kim Sung Yoon and his twisted version of the original style, but Chosen explains it to him the best way he knows how, by demonstrating it, and once again showing why he is the superior fighter. After dropping Danny Boy to the floor like a sack of rice, Chosen states that Kim Sung Yoon's style is based on deception. When I heard this, a lot of images came to mind about how Cobra Kai fighters dispatch their opponents. Sure, they kind of tampered their deceptive techniques to keep their fighting style competition worthy, but they do have plenty of movesets that are completely based on fooling the opponent which is effective against rivals that fight based on counter moves, like Miyagi-Do, as long as the Cobra fighter is skillful enough. This is why they so easily dominated the tournament after learning the fundamentals of Miyagi-Do, courtesy of Robbie. Not only did they know what was coming, but mixing it with their own deceptive style made them pretty much untouchable, only limited by their skills and any other possible distractions. Heck, I'm sure that on the other side, if all the Miyagi-Do students could have had at least a bit of Cobra Kai or Eagle Fang knowledge in their repertoire, as Hawk and Sam did, no amount of bribed referees could have stopped them. Now comes the obvious bit. Chosen says that if Silver is a student of Master Kim, then they will have to be careful around him. No shit. If we trace back the lineage of the Cobra Kai style of karate, then yes, there is a lot of Kim's teachings involved. Even if he didn't directly learn under the old master, Silver has the general know-how, and based on how he was in the movie and now in the series, we know for sure that there isn't a sliver of honor in how he does things. So what Chosen is implying here, that whatever the situation is, fighting in the dojos, on the streets, or in the court of public opinion, the long-haired master will not abide by the rules and will always try to cheap shot them in one way or another. Of course, in this scene, Chosen is only referring to Terry Silver, but what about Kim Dae-yoon? If you saw the other Cobra Kai clip in which she appears, it seems like she's even more rugged than Silver himself. I mean, just look at her reactions. Kim doesn't care about money, and she also has vintage Chosen tendencies to boot, like when she talks about how she doubts that Silver's American students are up to the high standards set by her grandfather, Kim Sung-yoon, the man who started it all. I did mention in past videos that the Quicksilver method could be making a comeback, but I was wrong. This is all about bringing back the roots of Cobra Kai and turning Silver's already aggressive students into killers by teaching them the controversial style developed by Kim Sung Yoon. Maybe this is why Daniel tells Chosen that they are not trying to fight Silver, but to expose him. 
Daniel's intentions look to be more aligned with discrediting Cobra Kai than trying to fight fire with fire. And this may be the reason why we are seeing people taking notes at the dojos. Daniel is a valuable member of the All Valley Committee. So if he could somehow convince them to accept the idea that some karate dojos are harmful to the community, then an investigation can be launched. Although I doubt this will work, because Silver can make it look like his students are in karate heaven. On the other hand, Chosen has some ideas of his own. When he says that to catch a serpent, you must think like a serpent. All I could picture was awesome fight sequences. While Daniel may be trying to defeat Silver in a methodical game of chess, his partner wants to break them by using their own tactics against them. This would explain why we see him in several interesting places in the trailer, including a Cobra Kai dojo in the scene where he is surrounded by other sensei, and the one in which he is about to open a fresh can of whoop-ass on one of the Cobra lieutenants with the help of Johnny Lawrence. This is the two-prong attack I talked about in earlier videos, though a bit different from what I originally envisioned. It seems like there's going to be a soft side and a <laughs> hard side to the hero's strategy. This is just an educated guess, but we may have Daniel on one side trying to expose Silver's Cobra Kai for the danger it poses to the youth of All Valley, while Chosen goes on the offensive with his fists. This makes a lot of sense, because Daniel is simply not equipped for a full frontal assault against the Cobra Empire. A fact proven by the countless times in which he has failed to eradicate them. Right now, he is better suited in a support role, using his influence to hurt Silver in ways that don't involve punches and kicks. I'm not implying that he will sit at his desk and make phone calls throughout the season. Don't misunderstand. Daniel will fight, but his effectiveness will come mostly from what he can do off the mat. LaRusso is a great fighter, but like Mickey once said, Three years ago, you were supernatural. You were was hard and it was nasty and, and he had this cast iron jaw. But then the worst thing happened to you that could happen to any fighter. You got civilized. How Chosen handles his thinking like a cobra plan is another matter entirely. In the clip, he says that he has a plan, but there is where the clip ends, so the mystery remains. Maybe he challenges the Cobra Kai sensei directly, and then proceeds to kick the living daylights out of them to strike at their morale. One other possible path could be for him to use his new guy in town status to become a fake sensei to infiltrate the dojo, and then smash the Cobras the moment they turn their backs on him. I know that the phony sensei thing sounds dumb, but in the scene in which Chosen is in a Cobra Kai location, surrounded by fighters from other dojos, he doesn't seem to be wearing a Miyagi-Do gi, so who knows? So go ahead, tell me what you think. What strategy do you think the Miyagi duo is going to use against Silver? I'm a gloomy geek, and do me a favor. Like this video and subscribe to the channel, won't ya? It will really help me to buy a month's worth of Taekwondo lessons. Hey, don't judge me. It's the closest thing to Cobra Kai that I have.